Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about rolling period calculations. You may want to create calculations for 13 week rolling or 26 weeks or 26 months. You know, uh, your approach will be the same irrespective of the rolling period that you want to uh, create the calculation for. Now I have uh, sales data here uh, and I have uh, filtered it down to just show you two years of data, 2017 and 2018. Now um, uh, I have it by uh, month here and I want to create a rolling 13 month year to date calculation. Now let's see how we go about doing this, right? Let me go to the uh, data view first and show you the date table. Now this whole approach is driven by your date table. Right. So what I have here is the standard date table with date, fiscal year, period, and all the first few columns, the standard columns. Now the key column that you need here uh, for your uh, rolling calculation uh, is this, um, what I'm calling this as a fiscal period running number because my calculation is at the month level. Or uh, And uh, what this is, is basically a unique uh, index. It's an incremental unique index for each period. Right, so for December 2010, uh, the value is one, and January 2011, it's two, and as I scroll down, uh, for February 2011, it's three, and then so forth. So each month has a unique index, and it increases uh, over time. And this is the key field I'm going to use to navigate my date, um, navigate over, over time, so I can go back uh, 13 months in time, figure out what my prior 13 months is, and then build my year-to-date calculation. All right, let's go and uh, build this DAX now. Okay, I'm going to my standard metrics table. That's why I have all my measures defined. I'm going to start by creating a new measure here. Okay, and I'm going to call this, since I'm building a 13 period rolling year-to-date, so this is my uh, measure and I'll start by first defining a variable. Uh, so this variable is going to bring me the current um, rolling number or rolling period number. You know, you can name it what, whatever you want. And I'm going to use selected value function. And uh, as I'm assuming you know a little bit of DAX, you know how to use this functions like selected value and calculate and so forth. Um, so uh, I'm going to, I, I want to know what my current physical period running number is, all right? So I'm using a variable to get that. Now I'm going to write my um, actual calculate function. So I'm going to say calculate sales, which is basically just a sum, summing up function, it's sum of uh, revenue. Now I'm going to use the filter function, which is the second parameter of calculate. And when calculate, I'm going to say, filter all date. So what it's doing is removing all the filters that are on the date table. So I'm getting the complete date table. And I want, uh, let's start, uh, let's break it down. I want, first I'll just give, get the value for um, the sales value for the 13th month, right? So let's see. Um, so then I would say where, um, date physical fiscal period running number um, is equal to whatever my variable here is uh, minus 12. So that'll be my formula. I'm calculating sales uh, and where the uh, fiscal period rolling number is whatever my current rolling number is. So take away 12, so 13 month prior. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so let, let me just format it, make sure format is good on this. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to pull this into the visual. Okay, expand that out a little. Okay, so what you see here is uh, for January 2018, uh, 13 uh, months prior is including January 2018 uh, is January 2017, which is 10, 2, 2, 5, 9, 4, 3. I can, uh, let me format it, make it 
zero decimals so it matches now it depends on uh, what you're working with sometimes you consider the current month and then go back 12 and if you uh, in in your case let's say uh, the 13 uh, month uh, is 13 month is uh, December of 2016 then you would subtract 13 here instead of 12 so again it depends on your client or how your logic works but basically you're using the same rolling um, number to go back and forth in time um, so now if you look at February 20 uh, 18 uh, now I show January 2017 number here all right so that's the first step so I'm getting now I know what my 13th week is now the next thing is to get the year to date I need to sum up the numbers from January 2017 all the way through January 2018 to get my February rolling um, year to date 13 uh, month year to date calculation right so to do that uh, I mean let's alter this DAX here so instead of writing equal to I want anything that is greater than or equal to uh, this my negative um, rolling number minus 13 and uh, I want the end point and it has to be um, less than or equal to my current rolling period number okay so now what it's doing is it is summing up all the values from January through um, December uh, so that that would be uh, 269 and then it's adding this uh, 12 to it and I'm getting 298 okay so this is uh, how you would um, go about building your DAX for it. Now the next question you might ask is, hey, um, this is well and good, but how, how do I get this fiscal period running number? How easy it is? Do I have to go back to my source and do it? Uh, I'm gonna show you how you would do that, right? It's uh, pretty straightforward, okay? So let me go back to my transform uh, data. I'm gonna show it to you in uh, Power Query. Okay, so I go to the date table. All right, so um, so here what I'm going to use uh, is the group function. Now I have a unique uh, number for each uh, month here, and then I'm, I'm going to use this to build the index of the running number. So uh, uh, I'm going to select that, go to transform, group by and I'm going to group by this fiscal number and I want all rows and call let me call this data okay the new column I'm calling it data I want all the rows. I, I'm not uh, doing any aggregations here so now I can go ahead and add an index now because I have a unique list of the period numbers uh, I'm going to go home uh, or rather uh, let's see where it is where is index where is index it is in transform or sorry add column all right uh, I'm going to start from one and uh, increment it by one so I've got an index next thing uh, now that I have the index uh, I can rename this call this fiscal period running number okay and then I can expand out the rest of the data now I don't need the prefix and I already have the fiscal period number here so I don't want that field again. So uncheck that, click OK. Now th there you go. Now I have my index which is the rolling number and I've got the rest of the data. So that's how you would go about creating your rolling number. Now uh, in this video I am working at the month level so I'm creating the index at the month level and, my, and, so, and so is my DAX is at the month level. But you can do something similar if you are working at the week level or quarter level. So based on your scenario you can uh, change, um, uh, change your running number. All right, so that's it uh, in this video. Hope you hope this was useful. If you've got any comments, leave them below. If not, thanks for watching and have a nice day.